Yo guys, Chris here, Ben on the video, and today is the second to final race in the playoffs of the Forza 7 Illusion Grips Grand Prix. We are down to five drivers, Vinny Autobot, Ecoplays, GT Nismo Kings, Chokey Zone, and Schmidt. Uh, the current standings, Chokey Zone with 117, Autobot with 115, Schmidt with 97, Nismo 82, and Eco 76. So it's not the person who gets last who is eliminated from the playoffs. But we are going to the final four for this race, and the person with the least amount of points at the end of this race is going to be the one eliminated. Eco is six points behind Nismo Kings, so in order for Eco to stay alive, he's going to need to finish two positions ahead of Nismo. Uh, and yeah, he, th that's basically what uh, we're going to be looking at today. So we're going to go ahead and start this race here. We are in the rain at Sebring. I live right next to Sebring, and it's been raining here for a, a week. Uh, so 10 laps here, one quick stop. We're starting it off in the light rain, then to heavy rain, then to moderate rain, but there's an 80% possibility between all those. So, you know, it might not even rain past lap two, who knows? Uh, but those are your current standings we're looking at right now, heading into next week, which will be the last race. And it's going to be Nismo with the pole, then Schmidt, who finally starts close up, Chokey Zone, Audubon, Eco. So right now, uh, the rain isn't too bad. It's still going to be a slip and slide. Uh, but they should be able to control their cars for now. Really, for our battle for who's going to win this championship is going to be between Autobot and Shoki Zone. But Nismo and Schmidt are... They're not too far behind to the point where if one of them wins both of the races, then they could win. Like, if Nismo wins this race, and say Shoki Zone and Autobot get third and fourth, then if Nismo wins the last race, there's a possibility he could win the championship. Uh, but we'll just have to see. Now, Nismo starts off with a really good lead. We're going to look to see what's going on back here in third and second as Chokizone and Schmidt are battling right there. We're going to go into the game cameras on Schmidt and see what he can do to get past Ch uh, Chokizone if he can. Everybody's kind of in a single file line at the moment. Uh, it's going to be hard not to crash into people here. Uh, we are in the track toys. A lot of people in the Lotus 350R. A lot of people in the Exige. Uh, I think I think I didn't see anybody in the aerial. I'm not sure though. Uh, so 10 laps here. Fairly big track. 3.7 miles. We're on the full circuit. Uh, a lot of complicated corners. This track is very complicated, but... You know, we're picking the, this is the hardest scenario, being the rain, the track toys, and Sebring. Uh, it's hard to overtake here. Really, any mistake is going to be how you're going to get past someone. Uh, you know, the person in front of you makes a mistake, that's how you're, you're going to pass them. Uh, long straightaway here through Sebring, and the final corner is always a nice one to look at. Because uh, it's, it's a weird corner, you know, it's such a long corner, but you don't want to... Uh, under break and you don't want to over break because that these walls are deadly but Nismo had no preparation for this race he thought that ooh, he thought that we were racing uh, at Silverstone so just five minutes ago he made this car and he is currently sitting in first place after lap one but we have a three three-way battle here let's go to Schmidt again in fourth place between Chokies and Autobot turn one is always fun here you can really test out the braking and Schmidt gets a way better line there, at least it looked like, uh, than Shokizone, but it didn't actually turn out to be that. A lot of people go for their quick stops on, say, lap 5 or 6, or anything past, like, I wouldn't say anything before 5, but Shokizone's actually going to take his now. A little bit of delay there, it says he's been in the pit. So, probably not the best decision uh, for Shokizone. If Schmidt takes his on lap 5, say, uh, he might come out in front. Uh, so let's look. He's got a Nismo has a huge lead right now. Let's take a look at how he's driving in his Golf Lotus. This is the one I was taking laps around here, just like right before we started this at Sebring International Raceway. 24 hours of Sebring coming soon. It's gonna be real fun. Fairly big gap now between the first, second, and third. So I'll have to see where Chokey Zone comes out on. But Nismo is taking some good driving right now. 
Schmidt with a 219. Chokizone with a 216. Or sorry, the 216 was uh, Nismo, I think. And what did... What's going on? Okay. I don't know what happened. So he was getting new batteries, but I don't think that was batteries. I'm not going to assume what happened, but I don't know what happened. But he's in second place now. We're now in the heavy rain. Or it could be getting heavier, who knows. We could have a move here through the very quick section here, or we might see something on the straight. I don't know whose car is quicker on the straight. If it's Autobots or Nismos. Uh, who's gonna get the better exit? I think Autobot got the better exit, but Nismos' car is just slightly quicker by only a mile an hour. I would say. They're fairly neck and neck. Oh, he's gonna tuck in behind. Smart move. That might force Autobot to go wide, but they're... I suppose gonna slide there. It is currently raining outside as I'm talking. And I'm right next to Sebring. Oh, and Autobot's gonna clip the... the tire wall. That is exactly what you don't wanna do on this track. It's raining outside as I'm talking. And I'm right now. And that means Chokizone's gonna pass Autobot as well. And now, let's head back to Autobot to see if he's gonna be able to catch up to Chokizone. Theoretically, Autobot is the quicker driver at the moment. This one with like a 20 second lead. At least I think so. Has to be. I mean, he's like a whole section ahead. 17 seconds. Meanwhile, we're at. Uh, two hundredth of a second here, and the rain is slowly dying off. A lot of speed by Autobot. He's gonna go on the inside. Oh, he's gonna get the tap in. Is he gonna cut him off? He's gonna cut him off there, and he gets hit by a dynamic puddle, which is pretty cool. Let's head over to Chiyokuzen now. Let's see what happens as we are now through another technical section. We have this one, and then we have the one that Nizwa is going through right now, and then the final. Uh, elongated corner, and Autobot is gonna hit the uh, bumper on that one. I don't know what it's called. I completely brain farted the curb, not the bumper. Uh, wow, we are down to 100 feet now. Nismo is about to be on the last corner of the race. Hit those curbs, Chokey Zone. There you go. And Autobot goes wide. That's why I say, you mess up that first corner, you're going to mess up the rest. And so now we're going to have a great final corner. For the third straight race, we're going to have a Autobot and Chioki Zone battle to the end. And I sure hope it doesn't cut it off because... Okay, Nizzo is actually waiting at the finish line so the replay does not cut off. Thank you. Uh, although you're probably just waiting there to do donuts. Uh, but here goes Chioki Zone. He's going to go for the outside. He's going to go for the inside, the over-under. And contact, he's not going to get it. He, too much contact is going to slow him down. Oh, n and that is going to be Autobot in second. Chokizone in third. Schmidt in fourth. Eco in fifth with Nismo getting first. That's how this race is going to end. The updated standings will be on the screen now. It's definitely a, a lot closer. Uh, we're going to have a great final race. Uh, that's all I can say. We have... Autobot in first with 135, Chioki Zone in second with 132, uh, Nismo in third with 112, and Schmidt in fourth with 107. So, uh, basically what's going to happen is the person who gets first next week is going to get 40 points, and then the next person is going to get 20. So, basically this is what's going to happen for the final race. If either, if Autobot wins the final race, he wins the entire championship. If Chiyokuzon wins the next race, or the final race, he's going to win the entire championship. 
if uh, Schmidt wins the final race, uh, let's see. He even if he wins the final race, he is not going to win the championship, but he can get second. And Nismo, if he wins the final race, he can win the championship. If Chioki Zone gets third and Autobot gets fourth, that's the end of this. See you guys next time. Peace.